Hello, and this is Lamb 500, and you've seen this ground a lot. Well, today is a room tour, and because this, 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 that's kind of horrible, that it's all going to be gone, because the Lego m Museum is going to be planned. Now, I might keep that now. I'm going to do an update next week, and I'm going to leave that for a bit. Doing that tomorrow. Might leave it that, but might improvise, do a bit better. Definitely fix that, and definitely fix that, fix that, fix that. But there's just a Lego, bunch of Lego in here, so I want to do room tours. And today, let's start off. So, let's start off with where you see me review. This is where I know, I'm not review, do my whole videos. This is where I show off all of them. And the sets in the background are couple of sealed city sets, the Hulkbuster, that's a used Mandalorian battle pack, I built it, same with the Imperial one, same with that Sanctum Sanctorum, and there's a brick bank back there which is used, or built, I think all my kind of Lego, kind of Nexo Knights, this is kind of like sealed sets I have, and a poly bag, I do want to get my, my set, poly bag I'm getting in the mail, but it just hasn't came, and Jago, then back here, I used to have this kind of laid out well where it was like Marvel. That was kind of start. That was mixed. That was kind of like hidden side, really. But this is now all falling apart, you know. Um, but either way, there's a couple of sets here. The um, Hall of Armor, a minifigure pack. I have another minifigure pack, but I think it's in my bedroom. I've got the Hulkbuster and the Tours. Tours. Let me get this poly bag out of the way. That's the um. Venice set and the Anakin's pod racer. There's Tor's weapon quest and um yeah, there's my fly minifigure. I think it's cool. Yeah, and there's my brick bank. Nice, my sanctum and I do have a gingerbread set opened. But I just have it in somewhere else. Then I've got some other built things that are kind of broken that I need to fix. I've got Captain America, but I think my brother put that up. I've got triple decker couch. The Christmas tree promo, which I think is cool. The Batmobile, the Night Bus, the Gremlins. Um, what do we call them? Dimension sets. I like them sets. I like them. They were cheap. Well, when they went on sale. And um, the Brickheads from Kyle Ryan, the Sit Trooper, the um Hidden Side um, Lab, the Hidden Side kind of fair, no, haunted graveyard, and a Joker minifigure. As well as that. You may be asking there. You may be asking, but you have one down there. That Venice. That they're actually used. That have to reviews on. They're built like the Obi Wan set right here. Then you get the figures. I get the instructions for the Sanctum because I want to do a review on it. These are all the boxes you've seen because basically, if I had got my Lego museum done before I got these boxes, or maybe I'd say I just got that box and that box. When my Lego Museum is done, all these will be out of the boxes. I'll keep the boxes to store some sets in case or if I want to keep them in pristine condition or I'm going to redo the Lego Museum, I'll do that. But in a couple of months, these will be gone. I'm going to put this in here again. But either way, that's just a couple of the others. That's the Tree of Creativity, Pigsy's Food Truck, and Steamboat Willie. Yeah. Then under there is just a bunch of crap. Really, you have to get clear of that. And got the Star Wars thing, which I actually like the Lego thing for the Mario set I'm getting. TV and a bunch of crap there. The Lego book there. Books and there's the other minifigure thing there. And there's the Venice set actually. I have to review, so that's cool. Um bunch of books. I don't really care about that. Bush yeah, this is just like the room before it goes. And you got my two closets and a bunch of board games up above. This one's really, and I, I'm afraid to show it, is this is a bunch of clothes. Really, yep. And oh! Oh, oh my god, I forgot I put this in here. Yeah, so this is the, um, you've seen this in the whole video actually. The, um, Toy Story set, the Duke Boom. Remember getting that for 15. That's mad. And then you got the, the, whatchamacallit, oh, the VW. I got this for Christmas last year. Um, I think it's sick. The set. I can't get it out, but it's the VW, okay? It's just. There it is. I love the detailing on that set. It's nine years old because my one says 2011 slash 2015, so the this version was made in 2015. But 
the lot number and the set was officially released in 2011. Do you know there was one, I believe, in 2007 or retired in 2010? So this is nine years old. I think this is probably going to retire next year or the year after that. That's cool. Forgot to put this in. This is going to be actually another place I put Lego sets. Um, Maybe it won't be the most cleanest way, but what I'm going to do is the store more Lego in here. I want to keep... I'm going to try and push that back as far as I can. Um, I want to keep them dust free for a bit because I want to start clearing them out and I don't want to be having sets falling over and getting the boxes damaged while I'm moving the stuff. So I'll put a couple of them in today actually while we're doing it because it's good video content and I need that. <laughs> as Anakin's pod racer, I got that. That was my first video, right? I think it was. It's a great. I love the Anakin pod racer. Cool to get D to C with Sabobas and that. That'd be so cool. I think that's all I can really fit in there. That's kind of a bit. I don't know if that fit. Yeah, it'll, yeah, it'll fit. But that's just a couple of my sets that I keep in there just for reasons. Put maybe the Anakin's one. Fit it. Yeah, I can. Yeah, so I'll put some sets in here, just keep it, and I uh, open it up. And people are like, oh, what's that? Because this just be cool. So if we turn it down so I can see more. It's the Ben is set, which is cool. Uh, one of my favorite Star Wars sets, which I'm going to move the Obi-Wan's hut. Which also, by the way, the set with the UCS Mos Eisley Cantina, which I'm going to take a sit for a minute. Um, There's expansions on this. Where is it? There. The little expansion things and my I'm gonna do a whole video on this. My problem with this is Obi-Wan's hut was on a cliff. I'm pretty sure it was on a mountain or a cliff looking over Moss Eisley. But I don't unless they George Lucas changed it in the past couple of months from me seeing it. I think I'm right with that, but I don't really care. It looked cool beside it, but I just think it looks inaccurate and it's not proper to the movie, but it doesn't matter as long as it sells well. This Darth Vader set I love. I got this the same year as I got the Volkswagen. Also got the um uh, Lego movie set. The um Hall of Armor. Also I got oh but I hmm I got the Christmas tree promo. I got the um the bunch of sets stand there, which I'm gonna show in a minute. I think the rest of them are there, but I got that hidden side set and the brickheads. That's the others, but this is my one of my favorites, and I can't wait to get the five hundred and first Walker. I'm getting that actually for Christmas, so I normally get the Tutti Year Walkers for Christmas. It's kind of like a thing every year for next couple of years. If there's a good Tutti Year Walker or thing like that, I'll be I'll be getting it for Christmas. It'll be on the Christmas hauls nearly every year. Well, most years maybe, maybe not next year, but this year definitely. I love the Darth Vader. I think he's really cool. Um, I love the Wookiees, the Kashyyyk Trooper, I think it's dope, the droids are okay. Don't like hom homing spider droids, I never liked them, just thought they were a waste. The walker's cool, but again, I love that green kind of colour. I love the background, like the murky ocean and the Kashyyyk, that's what it's called, yeah, Kashyyyk. I was, didn't know what it was called for a second there, I was going to call it Udapa, but I'm wrong with that. Do you want to get that set? But I'm just trying to find it on eBay or Amazon or whatever. It gives you a little bit about it. So yeah, this is one of my favourites. Definitely going to have this on the setup. I'm going to have most sets, but that's this one that'll be definitely there. But the Hulkbuster set, I think it's the best Hulkbuster since since the Age of Ultron. That one and the Age of Ultron. Don't really like that one, but I think it's cool. But like for Tuddy Books, a couple of years ago, you used to get a side build. Look, I you used to get a side build and the Hulkbuster. Which is cool and all, but like... I, I don't like that one for that because, and the same with the new one, there's kind of a bit in the new one. But this didn't have all of them, it just had four outriders. What if this was to be split between a kid, two kids? One could have the Hulkbuster and one could have two minifigures. It doesn't make any sense. The other child won't have a, to you know, a weapon to use. I'm sure they'd use some stupid car or something like that, I don't know. But I just think it'd be, the 2018 one is way better over that and for a couple of reasons. I'm trying to pull out this chair because I want to check in there. Let's take a look. 
All right, so excuse me. Yeah, here's some more sets. I got my Nick Fury. He's cool. I got this. I got that in it. No, I got this one in Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because I know this one says so that. And then that's a fush. I don't know what that is in Italian, but I, all I know is it's Italian. I got that in Italy too. The junior set. It was really good deal there. I got the Far From Home. I liked all the Far From Home sets. Apart from that helicopter, I might get it, but with Nick Fury, but I'm just not thinking about it. I like the Avengers set there, but it's not from the film. And I like Captain America, but they're not as big of a fan I thought it would have been when I heard the leaks. Then I got another one of these, which I can't wait to be building. Then I got Speed Champions, which... No, no, I moved a couple of sets, actually. I was like, why are there not as many sets? But we will move a couple in, actually, at the moment while we're talking about it. I think we're going to move in the Elite Praetorian Guard Bell Pack. I want to move this in for just a week. Just a week. And the... Uh, the Not the movie, too. This Ninjago set, which I have no care for. I got a couple of months ago. Don't really care. I got to look for four or five books off, which... Cool. I build and review just to use it for parts, for like build up or not give away, more just like a random parts thing. So yeah, that's just really that. I'm gonna shut that for now. But this is just a small video of what is left of the Lego room, which I've been close to because before I done the Lego videos, this is what it was like, and I can't believe. In one week, next week, hopefully, it's be all taken down. The shelf will be moved. Maybe not moved. I hope I get moved. But we'll see. But definitely most of the sets will be taken out. Doing another video tomorrow about how to, I'm taking down all my Lego. I'm putting them on the ground. I'm going to display them all out here and show them all in copious cements. I'm not going to do it today because it'll be a 20 minute video and I don't want to do that. But either way, I want to thank you. And I want to see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye. And leave a like. Subscribe.